In this Easy Ed video lecture, we will learn about the three phase signals, their generation, commonly used terminologies, and the interconnection of the three phase signals as the star or the Y connection and the delta or mesh connection. We have already studied the AC generator. As it generates only one signal, it is called as the single phase generator. But the power generated by the single phase generator is not sufficient to drive the applications like an induction motor, generator, etc. Thus we need a system that will generate enough power to drive such high power devices. This system is called as the three phase system and the generated signals are called as the three phase signals. Previously these signals were represented in red, yellow and blue colors. But nowadays they are represented as brown, black and grey. The fourth blue color wire is called as neutral wire which we will see on later. But we will follow the old color conventions only. So let's study the generation of the three phase signals. In the three phase generation we connect the three conductors 120 degrees apart from each other and the remaining structure remains same as that of the single phase generator. All the three conductors rotate in an anti-clockwise direction with the same angular velocity omega, generating the three sinusoidal signals having equal magnitudes but different phases. These three signals are represented mathematically as Vr equals Vm sin omega t, Vy equals Vm sin omega t minus 120 and Vb equals Vm sin omega t minus 240. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. Now let's study the terminologies used in the three phase circuits. The order in which the voltages in the three phases reach their maximum positive value is called as the phase sequence. Thus for the three phase system shown, the phase sequence becomes R, Y, B. These phases are also called as lines. Thus we have color codes such as red for line 1, yellow for line 2, blue for line 3 and black for neutral. The next term is phase voltage. The voltage induced in each winding is called as the phase voltage, represented as VPH. Thus we have phase voltages as VR, VY and VB. For balanced system, all phases have equal phase voltage. For unbalanced system, the phase voltages are different for each phase. The current flowing through each winding is called as the phase current IPH. Thus the phase currents are IR, IY and IB. The voltage between any pair of terminals or lines is called as the line voltage. VRY, VYB and VBR are the line voltages. The current flowing through each line is called as the line current. IR, IY and IB are the line currents which are represented mathematically by the following equations. There are two main forms in which these windings are connected as the star or the Y connection and the delta or the mesh connection. Let's study the star or the Y connection. In this type of connection, one end of all three phases is joined together to a common point called as a neutral point. Three conductors are taken out from the three phases as R, Y and B terminals. When the loads having equal magnitude are connected to the star connection, we get the star connected balanced load system. The line currents have equal magnitude but differ in phase. For the balanced system, the current flowing through the neutral wire is always zero. Thus we can easily remove the neutral wire from the system. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. Let's draw the phasor diagram for this system. Taking VRN as a reference, the two phases VYN and VBN are drawn 120 degrees apart from each other. Being the inductive circuit, the current lags the voltage by an angle phi. Now the phase of VNR is drawn opposite to the phase of VRN. The phase of VNY is drawn opposite to the phase of VYN. And the phase of VNB is drawn opposite to the phase of VBN as shown. Completing the parallelogram of phases VRN and VNY, we get the resultant as VRY which is the line voltage. Similarly, we get the other line voltages as VYB and VBR. It is clear from the circuit diagram that the line voltage VRY is the sum of the two phase voltages VRN and VNY. 
From the phasor diagram, the angle between Vrn and Vny equals to 60 degrees. According to the parallelogram law of vectors, Vry square equals Vrn square plus Vny square plus 2 into Vrn into Vny into cos of angle between Vrn and Vny. But Vrn equals Vny equals Vph and Vry equals Vl. Hence we get the relation Vl equals to root 3 into Vph. And from the circuit diagram, the line current equals the phase current from the star connected system. The power is given as P equals 3 into V pH I pH cos phi. But VL equals root 3 V pH and IL equals I pH. Hence power equals root 3 VL IL cos phi. When the three phases are connected to each other and not to a common point, we get the delta structure as shown. When the loads having equal magnitude are connected to the delta connection, we get the delta connected balanced load system. In case of a delta connection also, the phase voltages are equal in magnitude and 120 degrees apart from each other. For the delta connected three phase system, the line voltage equals the phase voltage. The phaser can be drawn in a similar way to the phaser drawn for the star system. Thus completing the parallelogram for the phaser of IR we get IR equals IRY square plus IBR square plus 2 into IRY into IBR into cos of angle between IRY and IBR. But IR equals IL and IRY equals IBR equals IPH. Thus we get the relation between line voltage and the line current for the delta connected three phase system as IL equals root 3 into IPH. Power is given as P equals 3 into VPH IPH cos phi. But VL equals VPH and IL equals root 3 into IPH. Substituting these values we get the power as P equals root 3 into VL IL cos phi. Three similar coils each of the resistance 40 ohms and the inductance 2 Henry are connected in star and delta to the 3 phase 50 hertz 350 volt supply. Calculate the line current and the total power absorbed. We have R1 equals R2 equals R3 equals 40 ohms. L1 equals L2 equals L3 equals 2 Henry's. F equals 50 hertz and applied voltage equals 350 volts. We need to find the value of the line current and the total power absorbed by the circuit in both star as well as delta connections. The formulae that we need are for the star system phase voltage equals line voltage upon root 3, the phase current equals phase voltage upon impedance and the line current equals the phase current. For the delta system the phase voltage equals the line voltage, the phase current equals the phase voltage upon the impedance and the line current equals root 3 into the phase current. So let's start for the star connection first. The reactance is calculated as XL equals 2 pi into F into L which comes out to be 628.31 ohms. As the system is stable all the impedances are same and equal to ZPH. Thus ZPH equals R plus JXL equals 40 plus J629.58 ohms. The phase voltage VPH equals VL upon root 3 equals 202.07 volts. The phase current equals IPH equals VPH upon ZPH equals 320 milliamperes. Now for the star connection VL equals root 3 VPH equals 350 volts and IL equals IPH equals 320 milliamperes. The total power absorbed is given by P equals root 3 into VL IL cos phi that comes out to be 12.34 volts. For delta connected system ZPH remains the same. For delta connection we have VL equals VPH equals 350 volts and IPH equals VPH upon ZPH equals 320 milliamperes. IL equals root 3 into IPH equals 554 milliamperes. The total power consumed is calculated as P equals root 3 into VL IL cos 5 equals 21.39 watts. Let's have a quick review of what we've learned in this Easy Ed video lecture. The three phase generator is used to generate the three phase signals which have the same magnitude but the phase difference is of 120 degrees. 
The phases of the signal is also called as a line. Thus we represent the three phases as L1, L2, L3 and neutral with the colors as shown. The three phase system are connected in two types such as the star or the Y connection and delta or the mesh connection. For the balanced three phase system all the loads have the same magnitude. Three phase balanced star structure is constructed as shown. Three phase delta connected structure is constructed as shown. For the star connection VL equals root 3 into VPH and IL equals IPH, P equals root 3 VL IL cos 5. For delta connection VL equals VPH and IL equals root 3 into IPH, P equals root 3 VL IL cos 5. For the star system, the phasor sum of all the phase currents is 0, while for the delta connection, the phasor sum of all three voltages is 0. Power of the star system is one third of the power of the delta system and the power of the delta system is three times the power of the star system.